Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tudor Field on the campus of Smith Vocational High School here in Northampton, Massachusetts. It's October 20th, 2012, and we're here to watch the Northampton Youth Football yeah, League football. Senior Division Blue Devils take on the Amherst Hurricanes in a rematch of last week's game, which the Blue Devils won. It is the last game of the regular season, and it looks like the Blue Devils will be heading towards the playoffs. So this is a good tune-up for the playoffs, which should begin next week. There's a bunch formation kickoff by the Hurricanes. They're trying to catch the Blue Devils by surprise. The Blue Devils were not caught by surprise. They did a good job there of holding on to that ball. That was kind of like a, uh, an onside kick a little bit. Number 30 there, who managed to hold on to the ball. That was, I don't have number 30 on my roster. Blue Devils will take over on their own 40, 38 yard line, it looks like. It was Wilfredo Guzman who recovered that kickoff. A good play. There was actually a, a nicely designed play by the Hurricanes there to catch the, the Blue Devils off off guard, but it did not work. So the Blue Devils will come up to the line of scrimmage. Ian Osberg at center in the shotgun formation. Takes a snap. There's a quick hand off to Davis. He's got a hole in the left-hand side. Brought down after a gain of about five yards. We're going to be calling his name a lot tonight. Elijah Davis is an outstanding back on offense and defense for the Blue Devils. Osberg has the players in the huddle. The referee blew the whistle and is talking to them for some reason. I don't really know what. It's good to see Davis back out on the field. He suffered a little bit of an ankle tweak last week in Amherst on a muddy and wet field. And I forgot to mention that I'm Andrew Shelfo and I'm joined as always in the booth by Rob Osberg. How are you, Rob? was a little late to the game today, but happy to be here. Well, I noticed you got sidetracked by the food booth and that happens to the best of us. I did. That's a great run by Matty Channel right there on a second down play. Good for about a 12 yard scan. First and 10 Blue Devils. That'll give us first down. So that's two solid running plays by the Blue Devils to open up this hey. first half. Yeah, well, part of the reason I was late is I was chit-chatting with former youth football and current Northampton High School stars. Quarterback R.J. Ramsey was over first there. He's down saw Jefferson the Willis is a quarterback. It's always good to see the alumni come back to cheer on the younger ones. Elijah Davis run up the middle through a big hole opened up by that offensive line. That's a gain of 11 yards, and that'll result in another first down. Higgins, Walsh, Konovich, a whole bunch of Northampton High School players and, four, and alumni of this program are here to support their, their team against the crosstown rivals Amherst Hurricanes. So far, so good for the Blue Devils. This offense looks like it's clicking on all cylinders. They had a dominant performance last week. It looks again. like they picked up where they left off. They do look uh, well coached and well practiced and firing on all cylinders. There's Until a handoff up the middle to Channel, who is met by a stout Hurricanes defender. That, channel. that is a that's a no gain. So that'll bring up a second and ten. Hey, let's get our sponsors in early today. This is our lead sponsors. They are considered our premium sponsors for the Northampton Youth Football League. They include the Northampton Police Relief Association at Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home and Angelic Builders. Second and ten. Osberg in the shotgun formation. He takes a snap. There's a handoff to Davis looking for some room on the left. Finds the room, gets through the hole, gets close to the first down marker, still on his feet. He must have gained about four yards there with about four Hurricanes hanging yeah, all over him. It might have been 14 yards of, of Hurricane Dragon running right there. That's a first down, and that's going to be inside the 20 down to the, looks like the 15-yard line. Gold sponsors include the Pioneer Landscapes, MRW, Connected LLC, Liquors 44. Attorney Mark Tanner, Bacon yeah, Wilson. First down for Northampton. First and ten. Osberg in the shotgun again. Calls the signals. Sends channel in motion. Takes the handoff. Takes the snap. Down. There's the handoff. That was to Cyrus Carey. He gains about two yards on the play. Tell you what, Cyrus Carey had a big time game last week. He ran inside the tackles all day and he was just a force. And he really was a, made a, had a major 
Khan made a, made, a, made a major contribution to their win last week against these same Hurricanes. Mm -hmm. And Cyrus had to step in because Davis wasn't dressed last week. And he did a great job. It's just so much depth on this Second squad. down out here. Osberg Burnish. takes the handoff. Yeah, handoff to Burnish up the middle. Gain of three yards. Burnish. The other gold sponsors include Florence Savings Bank, Osberg and Associates, and the World War II Club. The Deuce. Blue sponsors are led by Collective Copies and Newman's Construction. Also contributing at that level are Goggins Real Estate, Joe's Pizza, Yum Yum Yum, Whalen insurance and the Dove Business Associates. Third and six for the Blue Devils. Osberg is up under center. He takes a snap. There's a pitch to Davis. He moves to his left. Nice block up into the goal flag. for a touchdown. There is a flag on the play. That was a nice block by Cyrus Carey on that play. I don't think that's where the penalty was. No, it was uh, somewhere else. Just gives the Blue Devils a couple extra tries at this touchdown. Looks like it's going to be holding. We're waiting for the official uh, call. Block in the back, I saw. Block in the back. Yeah. It's a spot foul. Didn't catch the number, but we'll, we will repeat third down from 10 yards for the back. The remainder of our blue sponsors of the Valley Home Improvement Incorporated, Weber and Grinnell Insurance, the Blue Bonnet Diner, and Strides. There are also a number of family sponsors that contribute to this program economically and we appreciate such from Andy Morrison and his family, the Benedicics, the Barons, the Zinals, the Tudrons, and the Burnishes. Thank you so much for your generosity. Osper takes a snap from the shotgun set. Scrambles to his left. He's got some room. Cuts it to the inside. Cuts it back to the outside. Still on his feet. All the way down to the about the seven yard line. Uh, got back all the penalty yardage and a little bit more. Yeah, I think he had a hard time getting a grip on the ball. That was a pass play, and as he went to try to find the laces, I don't think he could find it and just said, never mind, I'm going to run. And a nice run, made a couple of nice moves and finished that run, making, up a very do making it a very doable fourth and four. Fourth and four. Look for number 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one the call. The eight on the yard line. I'm looking at number 2-1. Everybody in your place. Ball's going at 21. I don't think that's a secret. Got Matt Channel split out wide to the left. Osberg up under center. There's a handoff to number 21. Picks his way through the hole, in for the touchdown. What a great year he's had. He's just been a monster on both sides of the ball. Definitely uh, making a bid for league MVP this year. Elijah Davis has just been the man all year long on both sides of the ball. It was no surprise where the ball was going. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Six nothing lead. And what was, I mean, he has been, had a great year, and he's uh, developed into an exceptional player. And what I like there is that he didn't take anything more than what the play offered. He just hit you know, the hole, he, went right up the know, middle. And he accelerated and he waited for his blocking. Real impressive right there. Two-point conversion try as the Blue Devils break the huddle. Line them out the two-point conversion for Northampton. Matt Channel is in a quarterback in the shotgun formation. He takes a snap, runs to his left. It's going to be a quarterback keeper. He's looking to get the corner, Got and it. he does. And just like that, it is 8 nothing Blue Devils. A little wildcat going on. Wildcat offense. So Hamp strikes first in his third and final match of the evening over the Amherst Hurricanes. Hamp leading 8-0. North Hampton lines up for the kick. Osberg kicks the ball deep. Oh, that's a nice, nicely placed. Kicks away. Amherst has a little trouble picking it up. They do, and they gain about two yards. But they're going to be starting on offense around the 30-yard line. That was a very effective kickoff right there. So let's give a shout-out to the... Board of Directors oh, for the 2012 the North Hampton Youth and the Football Amherst League. Is going to take the field here. Folks, this is a selfless group. To be a Board of Directors in this league is to be a working board, which means your work starts on January 1st and ends on December 31st. It's a 12-month commitment, and we're very appreciative to President Hank Gerardin, Vice President Ron Behrens, Treasurer Diana Zino, Secretary Erica Lamana, Registrar Taryn Johnson and members Patrick Diggins, Brian Bisesky, and Manfred Melcher. Special thanks to Kesson Productions for all of his efforts. He and his crew show up here. They get here early, they set up early, they stay late. 
Kesson Productions. 50 raffles going on in here, folks, this evening. Both booths still open. First and 10 for the Hurricanes on the 27 yard line. They take the snap. There's a handoff up the middle. Looks like there's a fumble and there's a flag. Lots going on there. Nothing good for Amherst. Let's see what the call is. That was an offsides flag that happened after the fumble. Now, yeah, was that, was a late, that, that was a late offsides flag. If that's that what the call is. Earlier. Let's see. I well, think they're calling offsides on the Blue Devils. I think the referee had to do his own little in instant replay inside of his mind, there. and then he decided to throw the flag. First Interesting down. timing on that on that flag. Yeah, the timing for that was a little bit odd, but maybe he had trouble finding his flag or something. I don't yeah, know. I don't know either. But uh, again, harkens back to the replacement officials in the NFL. I, I know where they've gone after the NFL. Uh, <laughs> no. Amherst lines up. So that makes it first and five for the Hurricanes. Quarterback takes a snap, looking for a quick throw. It went through the hands of number 37. Ian Osberg was there to make sure that if he caught the ball, he wouldn't go very far. Unfortunately, he took his eye off the ball. Had he kept his eye on the ball, he would have had a pick and a whole lot of room to run. Well, I think he was worried about Osberg standing right there. Going to bring up a second and six now. Hey, head coaches Frank Levin and assistant Scott Channel and Mike Gregashevitz have led this team to another great season. I think they've had one loss on the year. One loss on the year, yeah. It's been a super season. These kids have had a lot of fun. They've learned a lot. This is a group that has been together for a lot of years, and it's really shown this year. They've just had a Second great year. This is a playoff team, and they're very much looking forward to try to defend their the title in, uh, in this league. They've worked hard all year. Absolutely. Quarterback in the shotgun gets the snap. There's a handoff to the right-hand side. He was met Levins. There that was Levins. By Levins. Yep. Levins. Levins, 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 Levins stuck his hand out, and that player just went bent down. Nice Number tackle by Levins. Hagway Bader. So that makes it third and five after the penalty. Uh, didn't do much on the first down and five or the second down and five. That's big Tyreek Sanders coming over the sideline for a little bit of a breather. Notice that the senior Amherst team is wearing their red uniforms. The other teams today were wearing their white uniforms. That's number, uh, that's kind of, uh, no, is that uh, Power? Is 15. Scooting off, just made it in time. Good yeah, awesome. it looked like Amherst was trying to catch him in that switch, but they couldn't do it. There's a quick out, it's incomplete, the number went to the feet of number 83. That was a nice play by the quarterback, except for the fact, of course, that he threw it at the receiver's feet. But he did a good job of looking right and then turning around and throwing left. He may yeah. have rushed it just a bit. Yeah, there was, no number, the yeah there, was just, there was just no chance. Griffin Shaw, number 23, was right there. He was all over that play. And if Griffin didn't have it, Elijah Davis was going to stick him. That was going to get. That was going to be a mean hit. The other guy just reported the game was number 14, Jared Fowler, who had a monster game last week at Amherst. Just uh, in uh, Davis's absence, number 21 was was not in the game last week. He had he's been nursing an ankle injury. Fowler stepped up and just had it, the game of his career. There's a snap over the head on fourth down. Looks like number 72. I didn't that's, see who recovered Garbarini. that, but oh, they said Northampton recovered the ball. It didn't matter anyway. Didn't it was matter a fourth down play. Turnover on downs. Did you see that acceleration by number 72 Garbarini? It was unfortunate uh, that the snap went over the head. Oh no, that's a bow nose oh, play. He was all he over that, that play. Up, high snap over his head. No chance at all to recover that. Uh, this game is uh, this game. This, this game is going to put Hamp in great field position. Starting just like it last week's game ended. It's all Hamp. Yeah, all Hamp so far. You know, the uh, battle of the bridge. This isn't really a battle. This is a slaughter over the bridge. Osberg positions Davis properly. Oh, he's got some coverage the out there. signals. There's the pitch to channel. He's got he's some room on the right. Channel. One guy to beat. Uh, be brought, down. brought down about the 11-yard line. That was a nice play where they used Davis as a bit of a decoy out there. Nice yeah, and Davis blocked the yeah, guy who made the tackle play. originally. If he stuck with that block a little bit longer, he was looking for the next guy. But I think he needed to stick with that block a little longer. longer. Had he, I think that would have opened up the outside lane for Channel to scoot untouched for a touchdown. That's second and about two yards. This channel split up. Wave to the left. Up now second about two. Look for Kerry inside. Nope. Snap towards the hand to Davis He's up the middle. In. No one's going to stop him there. He is in. Touchdown, Davis. The second one of the night. That makes it 14-0, pending the two-point attempt. 
This is dominant so far. Elijah Davis on that. I'm just I'm shaking my head here, Rob. It's an impressive performance. There, everything they're trying is working. Um, the one one thing that did work was the offsides penalty. That's yeah, about it. At some point here, Coach Levitt is going to take the pedal off the gas and show some mercy to these Hurricanes because they're getting trounced. In there. They line up for the two-point conversion try. Osberg up under center. Takes the handoff. Takes the snap. Handoff to Burnish. In for two. That makes it 18 nothing Blue Devils. How much? 16 nothing. They'll edit that out later. 16 nothing over the Amherst Hurricanes. Blue Devils will line up for the kick. And that is the end of the first quarter, I'm assuming, because they're switching ends. Okay. Let's check the clock. Yep, end of the first quarter. There's a little heat wave out here, so you folks are sweating a little bit, so we've got a special ice cream. All ice cream products are one dollar. One dollar. Red Sox players, King Kong cones, ice cream sandwiches, popsicles. Now the Blue Devils are ready for the kick. There's the whistle. Don't forget the strawberry shortcakes for all the men out there. Osberg with the kick. Oh, it's nice a nice kick. kick. Oh, Amherst bobbles it a little bit, picks it up, trying to find a place to go. No, no place to go brought down by because Carey, that included Levens, Carey, and that included Carey, and that included Burnish. Yeah, the road led through those three, and it didn't go very far. No, it was a that was a crunch, a splat, and a slam all in one play. Now I think Rob, even though the second quarter has just started. If the Hurricanes don't do anything here, it's going to be a long night for them. Although it's probably already been a long night for them. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm already starting to see uh, some, some players being shuffled in here. Yeah, it's good to see Coach Levins is definitely taking his foot off the gas. There's uh, Tangway Bader in number seven coming in at uh, right end. That's uh, number two, Powers, in at uh, line inside linebacker position. Quarterback up under center. He's he takes the win. snap, hands off to the deep back. Oh, and man. he is met by Jose Reyes. Jose! No way! Loss of five Jose by Reyes. Reyes. For a big guy, he showed a lot Jose, of quickness no on way. that play. Sure did. Oh, no my way, goodness Jose. gracious. <laughs> or no way, Jose. No way, Jose. That's right. He got in there and wrapped up that runner and brought him down. Yeah. It's a very, very impressive performance so far for the Blue Devils. Lots of guys are getting the share and the fun. I think the Blue Devil, Blue, the Blue Devil coaches are anticipating a pass out there to the left side. That's a... Kesson side, and we know the deal. There's no messing with Kesson. Quarterback rolls, throws, Chuck's one almost picked off. Oh man, almost. good play by Eamon Powers. It hit him, bounced off his shoulder pads. That was a tough catch. That ball was wobbling, unfortunately. Yeah, and he was focused on the receiver. Looking at it. It was a good play. He broke it up. It's a play by Powers that knocked that down. Makes it third and 14. That is proud, Eamon. That is proud. You know, there's uh, this is uh, seventh and eighth graders, and what we're seeing is a lot of the a lot of the seventh graders are getting meaningful time in this game. You know, it's tough. There's a big difference between a seventh and an eighth grader. It's uh, just a physical size differential, a speed differential, and uh, what, what we're seeing from Coach Levins is he is mixing in a lot of his seventh graders, getting them ready to take over the reins next year. Third and thirteen for Amherst. Quarterback takes the snap. There's a handoff. The Fake the reverse. reverse. Good stiff arm, but you know what? Ooh, he stepped out. That was Cyrus Carey. There's a flag on the play. I think they're going to call roughness. Jose Reyes. I think they're going to call it a flag on the field. And unfortunately, I think the referee who threw that flag missed the fact that stepped out the runner stepped out of bounds right in front of him. Yeah. Well, so they're calling a personal foul on the know, Blue Devils. Had, had the referee noticed that he stepped out of bounds, the play would have been called dead and there wouldn't have been an opportunity for late hit. Of course, that's the official that threw the offside penalty four and a half minutes after the play. He's so. already on your list, Rob. Yes, we yeah, know. Yeah. I think he's driving the blue Ford out there in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
That makes it, uh, that'll be first down for the Hurricanes. Yeah, he's, he's, About he's, the only thing that's going right for them on offense tonight. He's definitely wearing the shirt, but he's obviously got a lot of things on his mind coming <laughs> in today. Well, the Blue Devils are going to have to regroup after the unfortunate personal foul penalty. That pushes the ball close to the 50-yard line. First and 10 now, Amherst. Amherst quarterback up under center. He's got an eye formation behind him. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff, gives it to the second back to the receiver through, who is met by Elijah Davis in the backfield, drops him for an eight-yard loss. Nice play by Davis. Elijah runs hard and tackles harder. It's like first and one, about 18. The problem with that play is if you have someone like Davis on defense, it's a slow developing play, and he's not a slow player. No. Number, uh, number one, Rosenfeld was in on that play. Unfortunately, the play didn't get into the backfield, so old Chris, Christopher Rosenfeld didn't get an opportunity to make a tackle. Second and 17. Second and 17, that was a, that was a huge loss on first down. It's going to be tough to come back from that one. So Amher sends three receivers out to the right. Let's focus on the interior. Let's focus on number 68, Andy Gregishevitz. He's had a great year. He's a seventh grader. He's been Quarterback starter. takes a snap. He rolls no, no, to his right. He's trying to pass. Gets the pass off. Number two is open. Gets the pass. Pushed out of bounds by Osberg. That's a nice play by the quarterback. He uh, managed to fend off the defender while rolling to his right. Still got the pass off. That was a gain of about uh, 10 there. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 12. Third down and three. I'm not quite sure what happened. Uh, the, something went, something broke down in the coverage. Uh, that was the uh, Cosberg side, and he was caught. In, I don't know if he chased a receiver, or if they're playing zone or man to man, but uh, somebody trips. cleared out. Osberg chased him, left that corner Andrews open. And I don't know if the linebacker was supposed to cover or if they're playing his own, but uh, that was a very effective play and not a good defensive play by the Blue Devils. So now we have two receivers to the right, one to the left. Quarterback fades back, fades looks back right, throws right. left, and just as he tried that last time when he tried to look off the safety, he throws it at the feet of the receiver. Incomplete. Drifter Shaw has brought his own cheerleading squad here tonight. So that makes it fourth and four to go. Fan club got off the bus a few minutes. And I'm imagining that the Hurricanes are going to go for it here, Rob. Yeah, they, they, why not? I mean, there's, uh, you know, it's the last game of the season. You got three yards to go. Hunting is difficult at this level. I tell you, the quarterback has had some receivers. Unfortunately, he, you know, is in the, it's fundamentals. He's throwing. Too many balls with his feet not set. Right. You know, if he just if he just gets his right foot set, well, steps one of the into reasons his left and throws it, I think they have much more success. One of the reasons his feet aren't set is because he's got the Blue Devils defenders all over him. Here we go. A little bit of rolled out to his left. He eludes Davis, gets no. close to the first down, and he is stopped short. What a great play by number 70. That was Ethan Gorman doing yeah. a nice what job a great play. of preventing the first down. Gorman, nice it's a play, Ethan. Five-yard line. That's a nice defensive stance there. Sure was. What a great play by the Blue Devil defense. If not for that 15-yard penalty, it would have been a lot further down the field, but they stood up and pushed back when it counted. First and 10 on the 46-yard line. Are we in the second quarter? I forget. Yes, yes we're in the we second are. quarter. And the Blue Devils do have the wind in their face. Shotgun start, but it's not good conditions to be thrown in with the wind in your face. Uh, Osberg takes a shotgun snap, fakes one handoff, second handoff to Davis, pushes forward for about seven yards. Hey, there's no hole there. I'll just make one. Bring out about second and four. You know, that was just that was just unbelievable. I mean, he just he runs with with an aggression and a power, and that's just what you want to think. This is textbook. And watch how he accelerates through the hole. He, he's not there. It's time to take on the defenders. Not if I'm going to get hit, let's make sure they get hit too. He's not afraid to do that. Very impressive. Second in, let's call it a generous four yards to go. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Osper takes a snap. He's looking for a receiver. He had him for a second. He had Channel for a second, but Channel, the ball, and the defender all got to the same point in space at the same time. Yeah, he, you know, that throw needed to be made a split second quicker. Yeah. It was a split second nine, right on the throw, and that resulted in a... Uh, brings up about third and four. And an incomplete. Broken up play. Third and four. 
Now, the other thing is, again, you know, when, I think uh, Osborne kept his eyes on his receiver a little bit too long. Uh, need to look away. And the prize is today $104.93.50. A little pistol the formation. Prizes. Takes a snap. Gives it to Davis. Wends his way through. Nice. Makes one nice. defender nice. pay for it. Nice. Gets the first down nice. and more. Nice. You know, number 12 on Amherst there. There wasn't really much he could do about that. Yeah, you, you got to feel bad about that. I mean, the poor guy only weighs about 75 pounds. I mean, you know, you know. He was in good position there, but Davis yeah. is bigger and yeah. stronger and just ran right over him. Yeah, you know, you're in my way. Get out of my way. Yeah. Although, to give him credit, he did slow him down enough for you know, his and he, teammates to get him down. And he stood there and he took it. Yeah. Somehow, I think he's going to be thinking about that a lot. Timeout Hampton. Timeout Northampton. Back to the timeout, first down for the Blue Devils. Osper takes the snap, Next fakes the hand off to Davis, hands off the channel, looking for some room on the right, cuts it up, gets into the secondary, that's a gain of seven yards. Nice run by channel. Nice orchestration on that play as well. Good timing on that. It's obviously been working on that misdirection play during the course of the week. They talked about the fact that they spent a lot of time this week just going over the timing of the plays, and we're starting to see it as the referee barks out the two-minute warning. Two-minute warning. Well, Blue Devils clearly have a lot of weapons on offense, and it's it's uh, quite a luxury when you can use Elijah Davis as a as a decoy on a play like that. Osberg up under center, takes a snap. There's a pitch to Davis, looking for some room to his left. Channel makes a nice block. There's a flag on the play. Hey, a lot of credit to number 12 on that play. There's a flag on that play, but number 12, who had a little trouble on the last time, made that tackle on that play. Guy shows some, showed, yeah, that player is showing some courage. Now, I didn't see the penalty out there, but it looks like they're calling a block in the back on the Blue Devils. I didn't catch a number, but that's going to push him back 10 yards, and they're going to replay second down. Hey, let's give a call out to number 12, Austin Hardy from Amherst. Nice play. Showed a lot of heart on those on those plays. Yes, he did. Our 50-50 raffle coming up in just a minute, folks. $44. Timeout on the field. After the timeout, second down and eight for the Blue Devils. Osberg gets everybody set. Calls the signals, takes the snap, pitches to Levins up the right-hand side. Levins, a nice stiff arm, gets him past the first down. It's a gain of about 10 yards there. Levins, nice little run there. Gain about 10 by Levins. So you're the Amherst Hurricanes. You've seen Davis run at you and run over you in some cases. You've seen Channel run around you, and then they bring old big Jared Levins and throw him at you. Yeah, it's that's like a, a high hurdle runner. Number of formidable, formidable foes. I'm looking. I'm looking for. Uh, a pass play here. Well, they have yeah, Levin sp split out wide yeah, to the left. Coverage. Yeah. And he's got a kid about a foot shorter. Osberg is up under center. He takes the snap. Oh. And they're going to call motion there. Gosh. This referee likes to throw his flags. I think that's why he's got two of them. Yeah, and, I, and, I've, been, and I've been on him for most of the day today, but I think he had that one right. There was some motion there. There was definitely some motion on the play. What a play. So that'll push the Blue Devils five yards further back, making it a first and 15. Looks like they're going to run the same play yeah, they, they called are. before. Why not? Yeah, I heard it. It's going 11. Osper takes a snap, rolls to his left, sets his Push feet, throws. Oh, nice Levins throw. catches it. Throw. Great catch. He's in for the touchdown. Good, good throw. He good catch. In. Touchdown, Blue touchdown. Devils. Great play by number 33. Levin. That was a great play by Osberg. Steps up out of nowhere. Rolls to his left, sets his feet, throws down the middle. Levins battles the defender for the ball, catches it, stays on his feet, runs in for the touchdown. The nice throw. Nice catch. Catch. Nice touchdown. That's three for the Blue Devils this half. They line up for the two-point conversion. That was Purdy. That makes it 22 to nothing. They line up for the two. Pending the two-point conversion. Now, is that Levin's going to be at the quarterback yeah, now? Uh, Wildcat. Got Osberg wide out to the left. Snap goes over his head. Levins picks it up, looking to run. <laughs> run right in number 26 or 36 for that two point conversion. Levins did a good job on that, even though the snap went over his head. He was still trying to do what he was supposed to do. So that makes it 22 to nothing. 
And I think that might be bringing That's us the half, right? to the half. <laughs> After rocking out to Aerosmith for a little while, we're ready to kick off the second half here at Tugen Field. At Smith Vocational High School, Blue Devils have looked pretty good here in the first half, Rob, if I may use a little understatement. It is 20 to nothing, if I have my math correct, which yeah, I've been known not to. 22 to nothing, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, 16 and 6, 22. 16 and 6 is 22. Whatever it is, it's probably more than the Hurricanes are going to be able to overcome. There's the kick. Ball's on the ground. Davis, the first one in there to try to get it. Amherst holds on to it. Just shy of the 40 yard line. It'll be a 38 yard line for Amherst. going to be starting out in first and 10. It's a good play there by Davis trying to get in there to get that ball. Probably surprised number 37 a little bit, but he did a nice job of patting him on the back after they got up saying, good job. You know, you beat me to it. So the Amherst offense is going to take over on their own 38-yard line. And I hope during that halftime they thought a little bit about what they're going to try to do against this Blue Devil defense. Because what they tried to do in the first half wasn't really very successful. You know, there's just way too much athleticism. If you look down at the, at the team, the Amherst team definitely seems to have the size to stand up to the Blue Devils. They just ten now, Amherst. don't have the same strength and athleticism. Well, the quarterback has shown a little bit of athleticism by rolling out and throwing, but unfortunately, like on this play, the defenders for the Blue Devils are just too quick. He didn't have any time there to let the receiver get open. You know, again, it's a lot of things, and we've talked about it. Not only do the Blue Devils have some gifted athletes, but this is a group of kids who have played together, many of them, six or seven years. I mean, a lot of them have been together for certainly six years. If they've been through the PUAs, they've been through the programs, and Number they've seen a lot of time. the Hurricanes likes this song. No. <laughs> You're right, Rob. It's it's nice to see this this group of seniors who are seventh and eighth graders who've played in this league for many years. Some of them. Uh, this is their last regular season game, and they're playing with all their heart. Quarterback takes the snap, fakes the the handoff one way, hands off the other way. Nice run there by number nine. Cyrus Carey. That's a tall kid there. Nice little run. That's a gain of nine. That's going to bring up third down and one. That's a nice play. A little deception there by the quarterback. Faking one way, handing off the other way. Now what do you suppose the referee is talking to them about? Could be third about one now for Anderson. Not sure. Maybe that was a illegal dancing in the huddle last time. <laughs> no dancing in the huddle. No. Nope. 75s keep moving, man. Ah, there's some moves. That's uh, number 72, Garbarini. Amherst ready to go. They take the snap. There's the handoff. Got some room. Got the first down. Still on his feet. Finally brought down. Yeah, there were a lot of defenders in on that one. Number Jose Reyes was in on that one. Number 22. That is Joe Brazina was in on that one. Brosna. Brosna. But the result is the first down, and I believe that's the first first down for the Hurricanes, not by penalty. I, I, we should check our stat keeper. You know, stat keeper? did you give him the night that's off? Because I haven't seen him that's all day. That's confirmed. Yeah. First down for the Hurricanes, just on the just over midfield, down. just on this side of the midfield. Forty-nine action. Quarterback in the shotgun formation. Takes the snap, rolls to his right, looking for a receiver, throws the ball. No one's going to get that one except the Blue Devil. That hit channel looked like it bounced off his shoulder pads a little bit. Channel was right there, but he had to dive for it on his knees for it. Channel was just one of three Blue Devils who were the closest ones to that pass. I know he feels bad about missing it, but. That brings up second down. Well, you know, we. We talked a lot about uh, technique, and again, it looks like Manny tried to catch that ball on his chest instead of in his hands. And, you know, you coaches do that drill a lot where you catch the ball with the hands and then bring him in your chest to secure. And it looks like Manny tried to catch that off of his number nine and unfortunately hit number nine and bounced out before he could Sounded it. Sounded like it from up here. We could hear that. Second down and ten for the Hurricanes. 
declares the snap, fakes the handoff, hands off the other way, number seven. Right that line. time it was sniffed out by number 33, Levins. Jared Levins. Good play. Yeah, real nice job on the inside of that line too by uh, number 72, Garbarini, number 70, Ethan Gorman, and number 68, Greg Ishevich, who did a real nice job. Patrick is a uh, seventh grader, and he's, I mean, Andrew, excuse me, his older brother's Patrick. Andrew Grevin Shevitz is a, it's one of the seventh graders who's just been a, a starter all year on this team and has done a great job. There is a plethora of eighth graders on this team. They're going to have a lot of slots to fill and certainly uh, some big shoes to fill though, coming into next year. Well, that junior team, the undefeated junior team, will certainly do its best to fill those holes. Quarterback takes the snap, rolls to his left, throws the ball. It is complete. Finally knocked out of bounds by Channel. That's a nice, nice effort by number 23, Tim Griffin Burnish. Shaw. Yeah, yeah no, Griffin had a, thought he had that for an interception. And the ball goes slipped wild. over the top. Of his fingers. Looked to me like Ayers got away with a little bit of a hold there in the backfield, but nonetheless, it was a nice pass and a nice catch. Yeah, the uh, Hurricanes are marching here. This is their second non penalty first down after that one, checking their set keeper. They're on a little bit of a roll. It's up to the Blue Devils now to stop them. First and ten, the Hurricanes hustle up to the line. I like how they break the huddle that way. There's a the snap. There's the handoff, looking for some room on the right-hand side. Oh, Fowler! Fowler just sniffed that play out. Came in like a bullet. Nice tackle. That's a tackle of loss for a loss of about five yards. Nice play by Fowler on that one. Hey, that's number 16, Joshua Rivera coming into the game. He's going to replace number 12, Jeffrey Pearson. You're my everything. Jared Fowler. <laughs> second and 13. Well, it's going to be second and long now. For Dammer's talking five. it over in the huddle. Backfield. Number 75 still dancing, even with no music on. Blue Devils are determined to hold the shutout. You saw that on that last play. Fowler. One man ban on that There's last play. There's a snap. A fumble. He fumbles it, has to fall down on it. He does, and that's a loss of about four. <laughs> Unfortunately for Amherst, they had some positive momentum going, and then a play like that's going to make it hurt. And this time of the year, it's always a time of the year where there's probably some key players sitting out the game for both teams. And unfortunate for the Blue Devils, they don't have the services of either uh, Henry Higgins, who's had a great year, or number 40, Ryan Braden, who's also done a super job this year. And it's going to be about a third and 18 wheeler now for Amherst. Big time player on both sides of the ball. Healthy scratch. So now it's third and about 18. Quarterback takes a snap. He rolls to his left. He's rolling way, way back. Finally throws it out of bounds. Wow, great speed by Gorman right there. He had Gorman bearing down on him and Davis bearing down on him. Number 79. Backing him up was Jose Reyes. Quarterback made a good decision there to get rid of that ball. Yeah, both Reyes and, and Tyreek Sanders have done a real nice job in this game. It's good to see. Uh, those so powerful defenders doing a great job. Coming out of the game is uh, number, number 59, Nick Sandoval, who's also had a great season. That brings up fourth and about 18. They're on the 34-yard line, so it's unlikely that they would punt here. But they have to have something good to gain 18 yards. Quarterback is up under center. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Looking to roll right. That's Throws it up. Oh, almost the picked ball. off by, was that Osberg or yep. Davis? Yep. Osberg almost picked you know that off. It was probably the right play to not, to, to not catch it, but had he caught it, that might have been a pick six. I mean, that's a fourth down, and you just want to knock those plays down. But had he caught it, he might have been able to go for six. And the quarterback had to throw it a little bit earlier than he wanted to because big Jared Levins was bearing down on him. And uh, he did hit him illegally after he threw the pass, and there was a nice bit of sportsmanship patting each other on the helmet there, saying, good play, guys. One of the other team leaders on the uh, offensive line is number 56, Solly Barrett, and he's a six-year player. He's had a great career. He does a super job. He's you know, in one of those thankless offensive line positions, but week in and week out, you know you're going to get a determined effort from number 56. 
He's the kind of 35. player you love to have. He loves to play. Plays hard. Plays a with a lot of passion. Cat for you, Rob. Look at that. He fakes the run. He's looking to throw. Throws the ball deep. Osberg was the intended receiver. They, they say Not Elijah quite. can throw it the long, long way, and uh, kind of like Nuke Luke. He doesn't always know where he's going. That was uh, our statistician telling us that was a 55-yard pass. I don't yeah, know. He can definitely huck it. I don't believe that because it was more like 35, but that's okay. It was still a long throw. <laughs> Thirty. About uh, second and ten. Here second and ten. And, and that's Davis still. Uh, he's back there again. He's got the wind in his back. Now he's going to run it. A little wildcat formation. Yeah, Osberg Davis down the field down. blocking. Davis gets the first down, knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. So when you see Davis back there at the quarterback position, you don't really expect him to throw like he did on that first play. You expect him to run like he did on that. So now that we have the ball near midfield, I'm kind of calling Coach Levens for a little bit of mercy. A little bit of mercy. A little bit of mercy. You know, keep it simple. Keep it inside. So first and ten for Hamp. Hamp's been dominant all day. So let's see. Osberg is back under center. Takes a snap, there's a pitch to Davis. Davis. Looking for some room in the left. Got some blockers in front of him. And he gets the first down. No, they're gonna mark him just short of the first down. first down. I don't know if that's the mercy we're talking about, Rob, but that's a simple no. pitch to the left. Any anytime Elijah gets the ball, that's uh, that's called pain on the other team. You know, he's gonna he's gonna hit somebody even before he gets hit. But that was a, a well-executed play by the Blue Devils. Sometimes we overlook that on those plays that aren't always going for touchdowns, but on a nine-yard running play that gains that much, everybody did their job. Osper takes the snap. Channel. There's a hand off the channel. Looking for some room in the right. Oh, nice run, Following Maddie. his blocker, Davis, down the field. Still on his feet. Past the first down. That's a gain of about 13 yards. You know, Matty did a nice job. We talked about it early in the season. He was, you know, he was a little bit tentative going into the hole, and not on that play. He accelerated when he hit the hole, and that resulted in a 12-yard play. Real impressive run. Nice to see uh, Matty Channel getting run better and better as a runner as the weeks have gone on. Nice, nice run by number nine, Matty Channel. That's number 15, uh, Timmy Burnish into the game. He's bringing the uh, bringing the play. Going together, pretty nice drive right here. So Osper breaks the huddle. They're on the 36-yard line, first and 10. Takes a snap. There's Burnish. a hand off to Burnish. Big Called hole his own on the number. left hand side. That's a gain of about four yards. Makes you wonder whether when Burnish came in, the play was to somebody else, and he brought in and said, "Hey, that's that's the, that's the power dive." <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine the coaches would have reacted a little no, bit differently of course, if that were the case. No, he's a great kid. Big man's on the field. Look out! Makes you laugh, though, doesn't it? Number 15 brings the play in. Oh, a hand off to number 15 ahead for five yards. Second and six. Hey, coach, I just forgot the play, so I called my number. Just give it to me. Osper, taste the snap. There's a pitch to channel up the That's right-hand side. The Looking for some room. Side. Nice run, Maddie. Hard, brought down by Close to the first down, oh, still on his feet. Two. They finally blow the whistle. He is at the 27-yard line. He's going to be about a yard short of the first down. And that's just what you're talking about, Rob, that development of Matt Channel over the season. Um, he was kept those legs going. He did. And that, uh, as a result of that, he uh, almost got, almost was rewarded with a first down play. And we know good things happen when you keep your legs moving. That's yeah, when you slow up and, and you are you tentative into the tackle that bad things happen. And Channel did a great job on that play. Third and about a foot. Osper takes the snap. Hand off the channel. It's blown dead. Whistle in. By our. It has to be a. On, it's got to be. A, it's got to be illegal procedure. Just waiting for the official call. But I'm, I'm looking for a yellow. A yellow there flag you go. There There's the illegal procedure. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. That slows down temporarily. What's been a nice drive for the Blue Devils. For him. Third and about five. Last second player switches for the Blue Devils. Big play here now. 
Hurricanes leading lead this skirmish tonight, 22-0 over the Amherst Hurricanes. Osberg breaks the huddle. Moving the ball well. A great running by Davis and Chandler and Osberg. Takes the snap. There's the pitch to Davis. Looking for some room in the left. There's a and lot of green there. Too. He's got Chandler in front of him. Gets, gets past three, everybody. Three, and he's going to go in for the touchdown. Right. That's, touchdown. Northampton. That's just textbook, Rob. No. You know, he didn't play last week. He's making up for it this week. Chandler did a great job leading the, the rush out in front of him, blocking yeah. his man. And then he saw Davis, and when he saw that uh, Channel had the block, he just accelerated down the sideline, and he was in. Simple as that. That makes it 28 nothing, pending the two-point conversion. Attempt. Okay, coach. After this one, time to, uh, time to time to do some shuffling on the offense. Here's the Wildcat. Is that uh, Channel in the back? We got Channel in the in the uh, shotgun. In the Wildcat. Takes a snap, running to his right, follows oh, Davis. What are they going to call? They called him in. He was in. So that makes the score 30, Northampton, nothing, Amherst. Blue Devils line up to kick it off. You see a big play here by number one, Christopher for Rosenfield on Rosenfeld in this play. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. Get out the way, Rob. Here's the kick. That's a good kick to the deep man. Catches it, looking for some room on the right. Cuts back a little bit up the middle. Evades one tackler, two tacklers. Finally, Osberg is the first to wrap him up before his buddies in blue come and help to bring him down. Hurricanes will take over on the 37. And number two, even powers, and number Oh, it might have been Kyle McGrath number one who was on that play. Kyle McGrath. Zero. That's Kyle McGrath number one. And there's a timeout on the field. Getting ready to start the fourth quarter here at Tudor Field. Blue Devils up 30 to nothing on the Amherst Hurricanes. Hurricanes start on their own 40. Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Pumps and oh, that the pump fake. He had big Jose Reyes in his face. Did a little pump fake. Faked out his receiver a little bit. Osberg almost had a chance at an interception. Second down and 10 yards to go. Also reporting the game is number 15, Timmy Burnish. Number six, Jose Ortiz, who started that, on that play and been replaced by uh, Fowler, number 14. Amherst comes out in a trips left formation. It's late in the game, and I think they're sensing they're going to have to do something to get them going. Quarterback takes a snap, quick out to the left. That's a fast move. Quick move left, quick move right. Right down by number nine. Channel, nice open field tackle. Probably just saved the touchdown right there. That number seven on Amherst showed some moves there, Rob. He sure did, and a lot of speed as well. He got that ball, and then he was. You know what, Matty Channel made a great play. He's having a huge game today, number nine, Channel. It was a solid. Both sides of the ball. You know, it's really great to see the kind of year he's had. He's been solid defensively all year. And he really turned the corner about two thirds of the way in on offense. And he's really turned into a very effective offensive player. That was a solid tackle. What I liked was. What I liked was that uh, the Amherst receiver there, he just, as soon as he got the ball, he was at full speed within two steps. Uh, we called the timeout. Timeout. Somebody. Blue Devils. Blue Devils. But nobody's doing anything. That was a timeout. It's like a 20 second one. Okay, play. It's like when he stopped the game for the car to go across the field. Then he just start uh, up again. No, I, uh, I think uh, Coach Levins was concerned that he wasn't going to get his players off, and rather than risk the penalty, he called a 20 second timeout. Delay out here. They start out a couple of player exchange substitutions. First and ten. The Hurricanes are in Northampton territory. First down, uh, Camp 45. Looking around, thinking about it. I don't know what's going on here. There's a lot of, uh, there we go. The referee is blown go. the whistle. Now we can play. 
There's the snap. All the way. There's a the handoff. Number seven, same person. Slowed down first and then brought down by Tim Burnish and Javante Grant. Yeah, nice play by Grant on that play. Nice yeah, we saw that, that that's a fast player, and he was slowed down. I didn't see by whom first, right after he got the ball, and then Burnish and Grant finished him off. Good play. Makes it second and 12 now for the Hurricanes. And it is running time here for these games, and there is a, as soon as I say that, they stop the clock with a timeout by Amherst. After the timeout, second and 12. Amherst breaks the huddle. They have one receiver spread out way to the left. Quarterback takes a snap. There's the pitch. It's a little option play. And the option was, which one of the Blue Devils do you want to tackle you? That was your option. Number 72, Bo Garbarinian in the tackle. So what happened there, Rob, is the... Uh, the Tim. back who had the pitch to have the option was going to throw it. He was going to throw it, but he was—I think he was really surprised by the speed with which the Blue Devils came at him. Yeah, you know what? And he fumbled the ball, open. and he had the wherewithal to recover his own fumble. Gabarinian, Levin's were right in there. That's on top number of that. 16, no Josh Tamara, who reports back that to the game. backs him up about 15 or 12. The Bears in the middle at linebacker position is going to have an opportunity to make a play here. The quarterback should have told number nine what to expect a little bit more before that happened. I think. I'm going to pitch the ball to you. You're going to throw. You better throw it fast. Fire. They're coming fast. They're coming fast. <laughs> better you than me. Better you <laughs> than me. That's all I got to say. Third about 22. Quarterback takes the snap, rolls to his right, looking for someone. Jared Levins, bearing down on him, finally throws it away. Wise decision. It would have been wiser still to throw it out of bounds. Net result is the same. That'll bring up fourth and 22. Oh, Jared Levins has had a monster season. There have been some games where he's just been so dominant. We're seeing it here tonight. He's not only tall, not only fast, but he is, plays mean. He's a vicious hitter. He's been a weapon on both sides of the ball, and he's caused havoc to the offense and been so disruptive to the defenses of the opposing teams. That, uh, he's also been, got good instincts, and he's been well coached. That certainly helps. So the Hurricanes have their fourth and 22 play ready to go. Which I think is a punt. Just let them kick it, guys. Channel's let back to receive it. the kick. There's a snap. Low snap. Gets the kick away. Good job. Channel picks it up. And he's got some room down the line on the sideline. And he returns oh it all God. the way to the 45-yard line. Did you see that block by number 33 Levens? He just, unfortunately, number 66 got in the way of a vicious block. Hurricanes did a good job of getting that punt off. Yes, he did. With the return, though, the net is only about five yards on it. Blue Devils will take over on the Hurricane 45-yard line. And now is about the time, I'm going to admit it, we're going to start looking at the clock and wondering how much time is left. Because the day that started in the 70s is quickly dropping. Cool. It's delightful. That is a delightful It'll be first and 10 for Northampton at about midfield, maybe the 49. So they push the ball back to the 49 now. That's curious. Osberg under center, takes a snap. Osberg takes a snap, and there's a whistle on the play. <laughs> there's a whistle. Stopping the clock in the play. Don't know. Oh, okay. So they're calling a legal procedure on the Blue yeah, Devils. One, one would surmise that it's on number, it's yeah. number 59. That backs him up five yards. Makes it first and 15. I'm getting a little chilly. Not about you. Osberg's up under center. 
takes the snap, fakes the pitch, keeps it for himself, rolls to his left, nice cut back, another nice cut, got a lot of room there, cuts it back again. Now he's cutting it all the way across the field. He's going to make it all the way. Davis helps him out with a block. In for the touchdown. That's one way to warm everybody up. It's about a 55-yard touchdown run there by Ian Osberg. I don't know if he got touched there. That was a, that was a game of tag right there. What a nice run. And he showed great vision there with some of those cutbacks. Did a great job of picking his way through the field for the touchdown. Makes it 36 to nothing, pending the two-point conversion. Osper takes the snap, hand off the channel, he's picking his way to the outside. He gets it. He's in for the score. Good. And that is another eight folks for Northampton. 38-0. Blue Devils 38, Hurricanes nothing. Late in the fourth quarter. I think we could probably put this one in the W column there, Rob. Uh, I think we felt that way after the first quarter today. <laughs> you know, this game is won and lost on the line. And you could see early on that our offensive line was just so dominant. And you could see the speed differential, and they just didn't have an answer for Elijah Davis, who had, uh, what, four touchdowns today? Four I mean, touchdowns. You know, and, and it feels like he could have scored on every play. I mean, he's just such a dominant player. And offensively, again, our line is just dominated on the defensive side of the ball. The just haven't had an opportunity to even get plays off. We just, we're, we're faster, we're stronger, we're better coached, and we're more athletic. It's just, uh, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of Northampton football senior games, and too often over the years, Northampton's been on the losing end of these games. It's, and this year, this team has been on the winning end of a lot of these games. They've just had a Kick number of tremendous performances. Like and this is another Osberg, fielded by the Hurricanes. Number seven, looking for some room. Right away for him. Like number 30. Brought down by number 30. There is no number 30 in the roster. Wilfredo Guzman. Wilfredo Guzman. Nice play. Guzman. Number 30, but I know number two out there. Alfredo Guzman, number 30. Wilfredo. Yeah, they got two 68s there. Wilfredo Guzman and number two. Demon Powers. So the Hurricanes are going to take over on their own. Set the 34 yard line. Looks like there is a timeout on the field. After the timeout, Hurricanes take over on their own 34 yard line. They have a tall task in front of them. They have to score 38 points to tie in the time we have left. Quarterback takes the snap. Balls away. There's a handoff up the middle. Yep. Nice hole. Number 24. Wrapped up by number, number 24, 24, Javante Grant, who yeah. did a good job of holding them up. Because that running back's got to be about a foot taller than Javante. You know, Javante's been in on pretty much every tackle when he's been on the field. What, a, what an exciting player. He's got a nice future ahead of him. He did a, he did a great job there. Awesome. Yeah, he's got a real nose for the ball, number 24. Exciting player. And the coaches have done a good job here out there on the field. You see a lot of seventh graders yeah, getting right. some experience for next year. Number 12, oh, number 12, Jeffrey Pearson is out here on the uh, left corner. And Second and eight. All the way. Again, he's caught the line of scrimmage. Tough play there. That blue Fumble. That's number 79. Yeah, Reyes. Reyes recovers. That was a boss exchange, I believe, by the Hurricanes. The Blue Devils took advantage of it. They're going to take over. They're ahead by a lot. They're deep. Well, not deep, but they're in Hurricanes territory. I think that's the state of the evening for Amherst Post against that Blue Devil defense. Mission impossible. Referee blows the whistle. Blue Devils are in the huddle, calling their play. We're just waiting for something to happen. And 
and that's number, is that number 23 at quarterback there, Rob? Griffin Shaw? Yep. Oh, who just oh, handed oh, off to the Hurricanes. Recovered by Emmer. That's they recover. First and ten out of midfield. I was going to say before that play started, Rob, you saw a lot of players talking to each other. There was obviously a little bit of confusion about where people were supposed to go. On that handoff, I think there was a lot of confusion. But we have to give some of these younger players the opportunities. Blue Devils will take over on defense now. Hurricanes are at the 50-yard line. Two-minute warning. Two-minute warning. Amherst takes over at the 50. Quarterback is up under center. Takes the snap. There's a handoff to the deep number back, seven, number seven. Yeah, room, he got five. past the defensive line, and then it almost looked like, he, looked, like he, looked like nice he tripped. Shot. He's got great speed up yeah, that, was that was Josh, Josh Rivera. Rivera. Yeah, nice. Goes right through it. Great it's move. a four-yard gain. Seven it's a nice little run. run. I think the senior coaches here have to be happy with this performance, Rob. Yeah, I think that, you know, they dominated this team last week. It would have been very easy for them to come in overconfident, and uh, they didn't. They came Second in and they, down executed, down. they executed on offense, they executed on defense. You know, they just played with a, with a definitely fire in their bellies. They, this team is playoff ready. And again, yeah, they were, they've were. they been very focused the entire game. Oh, he's going to score. Uh, here's a play that's going to going to mess up the shutout. Touchdown, Amherst. Makes it 38 to 6. You know, some of the Blue Devils are probably disappointed they didn't get the shutout, but number seven. You know in the grand scheme of things, that touchdown isn't going to matter. He got right out there and took right off. Now Amherst will line up for the two point conversion. So Amherst gets on the board tonight, folks. With a quick six there. Nice little run there by number seven, about a 50-yard game. But the other thing I like about the Blue Devils tonight is they had a couple of uh, plays that didn't go their way. They had a turnover. They had a couple of penalties, personal fouls that went against them. But they that didn't they didn't let that deter no, them no, from their they, focus they on the kept, game. They kept, they kept battling, and this was a game that they, they dominated early and kept the momentum up. And, you know, just, a, just a dominating victory. And, uh, Really showed a lot of success. A number of plays worked as well. I mean, they had successful pass plays. They, they ran sweeps. They ran reverses. They ran effectively inside. There's a flag. Uh, there's a flag. Yeah, yeah. Probably going to be pass interference. Defender and the receiver got a little tangled up on that play. So they called a penalty. I believe that's going to be pass interference. And there's an injured player on the field. The first attempt at the two-point conversion by the Hurricanes was nullified by a penalty on the Blue Devils. So they're going to give it another try here. Hurricanes break the huddle. Quarterback up under center. Got two receivers to the left. Takes a snap. Looks to his right. Throws the ball over the head of the receiver. He's just out of reach at number seven. That's Two point conversion, no good. Makes the score 38 to 6. Blue Devils line up to receive the kick. Now, the opening kickoff, Rob, they used this bunch formation and then ran to try to surprise the Blue Devils. Not this time, though. Looks like they're going to do a straight kickoff. a good kick. Hits the ground. Finally picked up. He gets through a couple plays and he's going to be brought down the pile I think there. that was Fowler. Yep. Picked up the ball. And that is That's the, the game. game. Final score here at Tugend Field. Blue Devils 38, Hurricanes 6. Thank you everyone. Have a good night.